Today on Zoom, we're going to show you how to make all different kinds of bubbles. Ooh, cool. All right, so we just added two more. So that'll make 26. And there it goes. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh, oh, no. we got survivors. No. Oh, you know, these ones are floating. I may have braces on my legs, but that doesn't mean I can't run or jump or do anything. Oh! oh. oh. Wait a minute. He went over. Oh, oh get that! Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thanks! bubbles before and today on the show we're going to show you how to blow really large bubbles but first here's a very inventive thing to do with an old toothbrush it's called the toothbrush balloon game and it was sent in by Ryan B of Salem Massachusetts it's played just like volleyball but instead of using your hands to hit the volleyball over the net you use a toothbrush to hit a balloon Teammates can hit the balloon as many times as they want before it goes over the net. But if the balloon falls on the ground before it goes over the net or goes out of bounds, it's the other team's point. The team with three points first wins. Okay, guys, let's play. Let's use the All right, on your mark. Get set. Go. Penny serves. And goes to Francis. Kicks it over. And now it's Rachel. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, he has it. And Vaz. Oh, 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 that was close. Oh. And Eric hits it. Let it go, let it go. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Get it, get it. And Caroline hits it over. I got it. I got it. I think if you can get it, you can hit it again once the other team hits it. Oh, oh, oh. You went over. Oh, get that. Oh, 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 <laughs> and Francis is back over. And Buzz. Nope. You can hit it again, Buzz, once the other team shot is. No. No, 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 you can hit him. You can hit that one. I see you. The buzz hits it. And Francis. Oh, yeah. and Aaron. Oh! Oh, good game again, guys. Good game again. Good job. All right, guys. You got it. You did awesome. Nice job. Nice job, Buzz. Very, very good. What is the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to you? When I was in Bliss, Missouri, I had to perform country line dancing, and we were on TV, and I didn't even know it, and I kept messing up. Oops! 
I was in a school play on a stage playing an old man, and when after I said my line, I when I went to go back, I knocked down the microphone over with my cane. You? Um, I think the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me was when I called my teacher grandma. My shirt was inside out. I don't really have one because I do something embarrassing every day. I was out on the lake and I flipped the canoe and all my friends were watching and it was really embarrassing. Zoops. Hey, Rachel. Yeah, Eric? What did the chicken say about Zoom? I don't know. She said it was excellent. <laughs> Zoom do. Today on Zoom, we're going to show you how to make all different kinds of bubbles. A giant power of bubbles. Wow. bubbles is a good thing to do outside. First, you'll need a bowl mixture. If you want to make your own bowl mixture, here's a good recipe. One cup of dishwashing liquid, three to four tablespoons of glycerin, and 12 cups of water. For the tower of bubbles, make a bubble blower out of a plastic cup. Andrea Kay of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania wrote and told us what to do. First, Poke a hole in the side of your cup just large enough for the straw to fit through. Then, push the straw into the hole. There we go. Now, put a piece of fabric over the opening of the cup. You can use a washcloth. There. Now, put a rubber band over it. Whoops. Got it for me now? Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. Could you hold that? Go oh, hold it. Fabric. Thank you. Okay, there. Okay. Now, dip the fabric in the bubble mixture. Cool. There we go. And blow through the straw. Cool. The giant tower of bubbles. Look wow. at that. It's awesome. <laughs> it's bending it's over the side. It's the leading tower of bubbles. Woo. Ha. Cool. Uh. <laughs> All you need to make little bubbles is a colander from your kitchen. Just dip the colander into the bubble mixture. This. And wave it around. Whoa, look at those bubbles. Ooh. Woo. <laughs> cool. And last, but certainly not least, the super duper giant bubble machine. Here's what you do to make it. Take a long shoelace. It should be about 72 inches long and tie it to the end of a stick. You can use a broom handle, a dowel, or a yardstick. It helps if there's a hole at the end of the stick, like on this broom handle, that I'm using. Then, you'll need a plastic ring. I'm using a plastic shower curtain ring. Tie the plastic ring to the shoelace about a third of the way down, just like this. Then, take the plastic ring and put it over the stick, just like this, okay? Now take the other end of the shoelace and tie it to the end of the stick, just like this. It's almost tied, and there, okay. Now it should look like this. Then, take a clothespin, 
put it in the center of the shoelace. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold it for you. Sure. Okay. Oh, that's good. Like that. This helps the shoelace from getting tangled when you put it inside of the bubble mixture. Push the plastic ring to the end of the stick and dip it into the bubble mixture. Make sure that you get the entire shoelace wet. Cool. Now, lift the stick out of the bubble mixture and pull the ring towards you very slowly. Looks so cool. Okay. Ready? Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Awesome. Look at that. Looks so cool. And it helps if you move the ring forward to the end of the stick again, and it just gives the bubble a little push. So there you go. Three cool ways to make bubbles. Whoa! That was huge! Straighten out. Okay. Woo! <laughs> wow! There's so many of them. I know. Look at Whoa! I'm busy. <laughs> Oh, I want to do that again. I'm Ashley, and tomorrow I'm going to be competing in the Special Olympics. The Special Olympics is for people who have disabilities and like to compete in sports. I was born with cerebral palsy. The way it affects me is that I have little feeling in my legs from the knees down. This will be my third year competing in the Special Olympics. This is my cousin Nicole. Hi. And this is our first year competing together in the Special Olympics. Our first event is with the softball throw, but I'm feeling a little nervous. Like Wish me luck. Judges add up our scores and combine them. 13.32. Wow, I like that. All right. I never feel like quitting because if I don't win, I can come back next year and I'll try my hardest again. I like showing my friends at school that I can play sports too. I may have braces on my legs, but that doesn't mean I can't run or jump or do anything. My family and my friends are all cheering me on. I hope I get a gold. Oh, this time, of one minute, 29 seconds, the winners of the gold medal, Ashley Marini Hess and Nicole Towsley. Congratulations. I think whenever somebody wants to do something, all they have to do is keep trying, no matter how hard it is. If you stick with it, one day it will pay off. Swabbing double, swabbing double, love it, double, stubbar. Haba wabba, wabbing double, wabba, chabu wabbar. Abba, baba, baba, double, wabba, stubbo, habai. Love it, gabba, double, mabbin, double, never scabai. Swabbing double, swabbing double, love it, double, stubbar. Wabba, 
about eating ants. Well, here are some that aren't that gross, because they're not ants, they're raisins. This snack is called Ants on a Log, and it was emailed to us by hundreds of kids. Here's what you'll need to do to make one. First, you want to take a piece of celery and wash it. If you're not allowed to use a knife, make sure you ask an adult to help you cut the celery. Then, you want to take some peanut butter and spread it inside celery like this. Oops. Okay. That's your log. Now you want to take some raisins and put them in a row along the peanut butter. Like this. These are your ants. Here you go. Ants on a log. Mmm. I never knew ants could taste so good. The Little Ant, a poem by Jeremy B. of Schenectady, New York. A bright and sunny day, I walk out on the street. When I look below me, an ant is at my feet. He says, hello, and how do you do? And I say, good, and how are you? I'm doing fine, says he. I was having fun playing with the bee. We say goodbye, and I go home and leave the little ant alone. <laughs> Ooh. Boats can hold lots of things. People, cargo, even cars. Well, Amy A. of New Miners, Nova Scotia, in Canada, challenged us to make a boat that holds eggs. To make our boat, we can use two aluminum pie pans, one meter of tape, and two plastic sandwich bags. We're going to have a competition, Buzz and me against Eric and Rachel. The boat that holds the most eggs without sinking wins. Okay, so we've got all these materials. And we need to build a boat out of them that can hold a lot of eggs. You guys ready? Yep. Yeah? Okay. Let's, let's see if this, this can float first. Yeah. You want to see if it can float with like one egg inside of it? Because, um, let me see. Yeah, why do you think it floats right now? Because there's no weight on it. And like, so, because the egg is heavier than the pan. Yeah. Of course. So without the weight, it's light. Very light, so the water can hold it up. Oh, so what you're saying is you think it's because of the weight of the pan? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ready? Let's see what happens when we put an egg on. Yeah. We, we have two of them. So we're them together. So it would be big, and we could have two. Like, yeah, we have two stacks, and we have two sections to hold more eggs. Okay. That's a good idea. So, you, so what you're saying is you want to take these together like that, so when we do it, it will be like in the yeah. water, and it will sit like this. Exactly. Exactly. Just like that. Okay. How about we put one egg on one pan okay. and then one egg on the other pan at the same time? Okay. So one egg, it, so one okay. pan is going to have Go. Okay. That's, okay. That's really good. That looks like glasses for a giant. <laughs> now let's put, put the two egg. eggs Ready? right here. Yeah. Oh, it rolls. It rolls yeah, away. the eggs roll down and then it makes more weight on there. I wish we could put an egg right here. Maybe we could if we tape. Oh, it'll fall right down in the water. <laughs> what if we tape the eggs to the pan? We could tape the baggie thing. Oh, put a, put a lot of the eggs it's in the bag. And like then this. put them in little sections. Like, try to put as many as we can. Oh, sorry. I know. It's like, you, could, you have to be down. I see what you're saying. Down. Now we should tape the plastic bag did it, to did it, the pan. That one? That work. Okay. It's so even. Right in the middle. Here. Yeah. Okay. okay. Ready? Really cool. You'll hold one side, I'll hold the other. Okay, let's see if it'll float. Now. Let's see if our boat will float. Yes! It is! It floated! It's floating! Okay, here we go. I'm just going to try it. 
Hey, Wolf, well, it's, oh it's holding up, it's holding up. Oh, huh? That's, it looks like it's gonna, yeah. Maybe, if, like I it, it, maybe if I put it in the middle, it will be okay. a little bit. It's a little oh, better. It's working. And if, if we put the same amount on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. three four. Five, five, six. If I put them on this side. And make sure it's nice and sticky. So no, if it does go, like, the water doesn't. Underwater, the eggs won't get ruined. Okay. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. It, it works. It works. Francis, how about we just put a few more eggs around yeah, that's the bag of eggs? Okay. Yeah. Should we tape them down? Well, let's just try to put them yeah. down first. Ready? Now. Yep. Uh, One. Another. Oh, boy. Uh oh, uh oh, I can fit one on mine. Oh, and then just put it down. Put it yeah, down. No. Yeah, you fit all 24 eggs. So ready? Okay, ready? Go. I'm on yet. We did it. We did it. Yeah. Good job, everybody. We are. I know. What if we added more eggs to one boat? And just oh, see yeah, how much, so yeah. how much it can hold. Want me to bring, yeah. want yeah. me and Francis bring to bring our eggs over? over? Okay. Sure. Okay. Okay, so we just added two more. So that'd make 26. And there it goes. Hold on. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh, oh no. we got survivors. So, oh, you these, know. Ones, these ones are floating. That's yeah, because they're in the bag. Since we see that the bags float yes. with the eggs in them, we have four bags of eggs. That's like, that's about 24 eggs if you have six eggs in each mm -hmm. bag. What if we set up the pie tins, we taped them together like we did before, like we both did before. Yeah. But then we taped the, the bags, kind of, ready? Like this. Idea. On Idea. The clothes, onto the side of them. Like we'll have two two, <gasps> two pie tins here, and then tape these here. Since so, these float, we'll, we can add more, we can use more of the eggs. Kind of like a floating raft. How'd you think of that? I don't know, because when the eggs are floating, it just seemed that they would be like flotation devices, like a like a life vest. Okay, ready? Cool. Go ahead. Oh, Except I get it. Add weight to the bags can help it float. The file package. Okay. Hey, try to balance out the weight. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Watch the edge. Watch the edge. Seven. Very seven. Good. Okay. Oh, eight. Good so far. Eight on this. Try one. to get more on. on oh the no, edges. this one's come. This is not sticking to this. I think we do a pretty good. Good job, guys. Just good get job. Ready? As we go along, get slower and slower as you put it on. And more careful. If we go up fast, it's going to... Try to pile the eggs up in the middle. Try to stack them. How many I more eggs do we have? We, none. We, we, we did, did it. We did it. it. Woo. I good did job. It. it was good. good Four job. dozen. Good. We are good. Oh good job, God. everybody. Oh, we are good. We and then we did it all together. Yep. We I are good at this. I think it's loaded because there's equal amount of weight. There's two here yeah. and two here. And the bags acted like buoys, and I thought that was a really good idea that Eric came up with. I think, Thanks. like, if we added one more egg, it would have sunk, because the, the water right here is getting on the right tape. Right on the edge. Yeah, it's right on the edge. If we added tape. one more egg, um, the weight wouldn't be equal either. I know. Oh, wow. Um, That's true. Good job, guys. Really good true. job. of Ocean Springs, Mississippi, volunteers at a food kitchen, a place where people who need food can go for a meal. He helps serve food, wash the dishes, and straighten up the dining hall. Good going, Connor. Here's how you can become a member of the Zoom team. Volunteer time, hold a fundraiser, do things that make a difference. Be sure you tell us about it at the Zoom website, where you can also find out what other kids are doing and learn how you can volunteer. Zoom into action! Zoom into action! And join the Zoom team! Zoom game! I bet you've been in a three-legged race before. But have you ever been in a three-legged balloon race? This game was sent in by Bishop A from Ajax, Ontario, in Canada. Okay, here's how you play. 
you and your partner have to tie your legs together and hold the balloon between your heads. Then, race around the cone and back. Each team has to do this twice. If you drop your balloon, you have to start all over again. The team that reaches the finish line first wins. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Ready. Set. Go. <laughs> Is Penny and Buzz in the lead? They're going. Are they going to drop the balloon? Huh? Oh. Kaylee and Francis are coming. Oh, Kenny and Buzz dropped the balloon. They start all over again. Kaylee and Francis are going for the second time around. Caroline and Rachel, they're going for the second time around, too. Oh, Kaylee and Francis are coming. It looks like they're going for the win. Have you seen the latest movies, read the latest books, or heard any new music? How would you rate them? Check out the latest Zoom reviews at the Zoom website, pbskids.org, or America Online Keyword, PBS Kids. become the property of Zoom. And we'll be eligible for inclusion in all Zoom media. This means that we can share your ideas with other Zoomers on TV, the web, in print materials, and in other Zoom ways. So, send it to Zoom. so we can find some new ideas? Where? The Zoom website, pbskids.org. Wow, what a great plan. Another great idea. Ooh. Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thanks! A production of WGBH Boston.